a non-automatic qualifier, if you like, and there she is, right of picture. She's got a lane draw which reflects that because she's been drawn in lane two. Not the easiest, but of course she does have the talent. So here we are, the lineup athletes out on the track for the final of the women's 100 metres hurdles. So lane two, Kenny Harrison, 26 years old, won her first global title in this very city, indoors, last year, 2018. 12.20, that world record from London three years ago. Stephanie McReynolds, her compatriot, 27 years old, also through here as a fastest loser, 12.96 she ran in that heat. In lane four, still only 22 years old, just 22 years old, the African and Commonwealth Games champion, Toby Amuzan from Nigeria. Daniel Williams, very much the form athlete, as Tim was uh, mentioning a few minutes ago, not without controversy either, but blistering in London. Ran 12.41, then 12.32, the fastest by some distance in the world this year, and a real red-hot favourite for Doha. Peyton Chadwick from the United States, the third American so far, 23 years old. She was second in her heat, 12.86. She goes in lane six. Nia Ali, who won that heat, 30 years old now, Olympic silver medalist, twice world indoor champion, now a mother, coming back quicker and getting better and better, race by race. Yannick Brown from Jamaica, just 21 years old, was third in her heat in 12.88. She's in lane eight. And, uh, well, bookending with real quality here in this race. Harrison on one end, and here the Olympic champion, Brianna McNeil from Rio, is in lane nine. Real quality. This has got all the makings of a terrific race here. So Harrison in two, McReynolds three, Amuzan from Nigeria in four, Williams in four, there she is, right of picture, she goes in five, Chadwick USA in six, Ali, another American, goes in seven, Yannick Brown Jamaica in eight, and on the far side, left of picture there, Brianna McNeil, the Olympic champion, as the wind picks up again, making conditions very, very challenging. McNeil there in lane nine. Meeting record, 12.46 held by Kenny Harrison, the world record holder, who's in lane two. Women's 100 metres hurdles for Well, the starter not quite happy, maybe just the, the wind picking up at the wrong time there. No suggestion of a false start or even a faulty start. Don't think we'll see any cards. But it's a difficult win, Tim. Yes, it is indeed. And of course, the hurdlers don't like too strong a tailwind. It blows them into the barriers and uh, they get too close to the barriers. So, indeed, some of the taller men, like, a, like the women, like a, a bit of a headwind. So, a reminder again from uh, lane two out to lane nine. Harrison in two, McReynolds three, Amuzan in four, Williams Jamaica in five, Chadwick USA six, Mia Ali USA seven, Brown Jamaica eight, McNeil the Olympic champion, there she is in lane nine, just waiting for a little window of weather. Well, lane nine, Piano McNeil has been mentioned there. She is still there, we still have a full complement. So this is not helping these athletes at all. Concentration. Mentally have to be absolutely on it. I think he said a warning to uh, McNeil there in lane nine for delaying the start without a reasonable excuse were the starter's words. Well, that's a rare one, isn't it? I don't think she appreciated that. But she's still there, but she's been warned. Women's 100 metres final. Sir. Now we're away, Williams, fourth from right, gets off to a great start. Ali also going nicely as well. Kenny Harrison much, much better than in the heat. Williams, though, coming through in the centre of picture. Williams, the inform athlete, she did it in London, she's done it in Birmingham. 12.47 into a slight headwind. Brilliant again from, from Williams, absolutely outstanding. Just outside, maybe just on the meeting record of 12.46, held by... Kenny Harrison from three years ago, but Williams, no doubt about it, she had those two outstanding performances in London, 
and she's done it again here in Birmingham. She's equaled the meeting record, 12.46 coming through. Harrison gave it a go, 12.66. That's quite a winning margin, isn't it? Over 100 metres, over the barriers. The African champion, Amuzan, coming home for third, but further proved him that it's Danielle Williams who's the one to beat for Doha. Well, you can say that again. We knew she was world number one coming into this, but boy, oh boy, to take a two metre, a metre and a half out of Kenny Harrison like that through mid-race. You have got to be motoring, and she does, and she dips perfectly at the line there. Kenny Harrison almost looked stunned there by the winning margin of Danielle Williams. She had a great run from lane one, a very slight headwind they're running into there, but to equal the meeting record, win by two tenths of a second fully over Kenny Harris, the world record holder. That is a special run from Danielle Williams. Put a slight headwind, a slight tailwind behind her, and she'd have been down in the sub 12 4 territory. That was a big, big run. And it's not a warm day, Chris. You know, it's, it's what, 18, 19 degrees centigrade. There's a slight breeze around the arena. When the breeze picks up, it's almost a little bit chilly. So conditions far from ideal. Well, Williams made light work of that, and of course, added to that the delay, the warning for McNeil, it all added to the tension. But the result, a meeting record equaling performance, 12.46, Daniel Williams from Jamaica coming out on top against all that American quality. Look at that, Harrison, Ali McNeil, all further down.